Hi everyone, thank you for watching my YouTube channel. I am on my day two of stretching. The first video I did not record my voice because honestly I lost my mic and I just found it. <laughs> but the first stretch we're going to do is the wide leg fold. Okay, so just reach down to the mat in your center and try to make your hands flat. I cannot do that because I'm not that flexible, but that's why I'm here working on that. Try to flatten your back as you go down. That's very hard for me as well, but this is the flattest I can get my back to go. You should feel your back of your legs being stretched out and make sure you breathe in and out. Press your butt away from the body. Make sure you press your feet into the floor. And if you are flexible, more flexible than me, put your palms into the floor as well. Here, I'm twisting my body. Okay, so just Try to reach for your ankle if you can. If not, you can do what I do. Put my hand on my knee because I can't reach for my ankle. And then lift the other hand up in the sky. Okay. Go back down to the middle. And now switch legs. And putting the other hand up towards the sky. And again, you should feel the stretching in the back of your legs. Now we're going to go into our pike. Okay, so this stretch is supposed to stretch out our hamstrings. Okay, and again, do how much you can do for your body. I am a beginner once again, so I can't reach my feet. But I'll get there one day. <laughs> Make sure you have a flat back as you go down, as flat as possible.
Okay, so now I'm going into the low lunge to triangle stretch and I'm starting with my right leg and then I'll go over to my left. Okay, so when I go into the triangle, my knee is not used to straightening out or flattening so it literally is locking right there that's what you see um so i have to like push my knee in to stretch it and it hurts so bad <laughs> believe it or not it hurts so bad because i don't work that out um but yeah that's what's happening and hopefully i get better over time Okay, so now I am doing the low lunge into straight knee. Okay, so what that looks like is we're going to straighten the back leg and then bend the knee back down to the back and just keep doing that. All right, so now I'm going into the lizard circle. Okay, so I put both of my hands inside of my lunge, and then I move my back leg ankle into a circular motion. Once you go to the right in the circular motion, then after maybe 10 to 15 times, you can rotate it to the left in the circular motion. Okay, here I'm just taking a rest. I was tired. <laughs> Wanted to give up, honey. It's okay to rest. You can pause the video. <laughs> but um, I know I had to keep going because I am on video. So I'm just stretching because those stretches hurt. So I'm doing other stretches that don't. <laughs> and then I'll get back into it. The next stretch that I will get into is the low lunge with my arms up. Okay, so this stretch is supposed to help open up my hips, which is the main goal here. So I can do a split eventually.
Okay, so now we're going into a quad stretch. Okay, so I'm still working on my right side, my right leg, and um, we're going to take the left leg and pull it towards us as much as we can. You should feel a lot of pressure here, especially if you don't do this stretch often. Okay, and then eventually I'll start to pull my foot in towards my butt and releasing it. And that should also be a nice stretch in your upper leg as well. Okay, now we're switching over to the left side and we pretty much do the same thing that we did with the right side. So low lunge on the left, um, putting our, stretching our back leg and then bending our knee, um, rotating our ankle and things like that. And then lastly, the quad stretch. And then right after that, we'll get into our splits.
okay so i know you guys see me dying in this video this is tough especially because i am just starting to stretch i know it's so bad to start stretching now but at least i started better late than never right Okay, so this pose was not a part of the stretch routine, but it is a good um, hip flexor. It's supposed to stretch out your hips. It feels really good. It kind of hurts, um, but I think it's a useful stretch, so I just wanted to add that in.
All right, so now that we got our bodies warmed up, it's time to get into those splits, honey. Don't judge me because I do not know how to do one. But I wanted to um, hopefully, hopefully show myself that I can one day. I want to see my progress. So here it is. And remember the first video, I didn't even make it into the split because the stretching just killed me. So the fact that I was able to get down here is amazing <laughs> for me. <laughs> okay, so I started off with my right leg. Um, I kind of left my back leg bent and started to slide forward with my right leg. And then I'll do the same thing with my left. Oh my goodness, it hurts so bad to do a split <laughs> i can't wait to get to the point where i'm like this feels so good just pop into it i don't never i don't see that day coming but <laughs> but i know it's possible because i see so many people do it so
All right, you guys. So the last thing we'll do is go back into the pike to see how warm our body is and see if we got more flexible. Okay. And then that's pretty much the end. Thank you guys for watching my day two. And I will get my day three posted as soon as possible. Editing these videos are a lot. Okay. See you next video.